I'm Alain Frillet and uh, I'm the editorial director of uh, ID Photos. I used to be in Magnum, which I worked for for five years. Uh, I think today we're confronted to uh, a very uh, engaging and challenging perspective for photojournalism because obviously the, um, the leading engine of photojournalism over the last decades, which has been the media, has died out completely now. It's not only really, it's not dying out, it's not fading, it's dead. So I think now we, are, we have to uh, initiate new perspectives for photojournalism, even if we have to change the name of photojournalism to photo documentary, uh, because it is it's needed today, even for a better understanding of the world we live in, that we inject a notion of time within the work we do, which means that I think um, we have two, two challenges. One is an ethical and in-depth way of working in photography, and the other one is financial, of course. I think that in terms of photography, we, ha we are faced with an increasing quality of photography and an, a, a democratic approach of photographers to photography, which is uh, allowing a lot of people in third world countries which did not have the ability years ago to, uh, to express themselves with photography to do so. Um, so the, uh, the communication systems have helped a lot of uh, photographers and young talents around the world to, uh, to show what they are able to do. But now what we need to do is maybe take some distance with the news. We have fantastic people working for wire agencies like AFP, Reuters and so on. And I think they're doing a fantastic job. I think independent photographers need to inject time within their work, which means take distance for a better understanding of what we are um, surveying as terms of topics and, uh, and events. And on the economical side, I think we have to change as the media is not going to be the engine tomorrow anymore. I think we have to work on the basis of personal projects, which are more lengthy and for which we need to prospect uh, cultural sponsorship uh, for these works, but in a more in a more structuralized way. I think a lot of uh, companies, institutions, foundations have uh, agreed to a company uh, witnessing the world through talented eyes, and I think this is maybe one good track to follow today.